People sometimes tell me, when I'm in Israel or New York, I could be Jewish, but in a place like Iceland, it's just not possible. So this is a pretty old debate, and I'll tell you how it started. It was 3,300 years ago when the Jewish people were in the desert, and they were about to conquer the land of Israel. They decided to send spies into what was then the land of Canaan, to check out the land and to strategize. Forty days later, the spies returned, and surprisingly, they announced that the Canaanites were too strong and that it would be impossible for the Jews to win over them. But what were the spies thinking? How could it be that the same people who witnessed the exodus from Egypt and all of the miracles that surrounded that incredible event. How could it be that these same people didn't believe in God's ability to bring the Jewish people into the land of Israel? These spies were very great people. They were the leaders of the Jewish people at the time. But they believed that Judaism could only survive in the desert. They believed that Judaism could only survive in a Jewish environment. They felt that as soon as they would go into the land of Israel, they would need to get regular jobs. They would need to live amongst other people. They would need to join society. And they felt that in that environment, it would be impossible to continue being Jewish. The truth is that Judaism could flourish wherever you are. Outside of a Jewish bubble, it requires more effort. But being Jewish is for every Jew, wherever you are. Ultimately, Judaism is about making a difference, and the greatest impact you could make is outside of the Jewish bubble. So you could be far from a large Jewish community. You could be far from friends or family. But when you do a mitzvah, you're bringing light and the warmth of Judaism to a place and to a world that needs it so much.